Last week, I made a video about this, the itty bitty little low profile 4060. And boy, do people hate the 4060. Great comments on that video, by the way. I praised its power efficiency, encoding performance and resolve, and not much else. One thing I noted in that video is that this card only has eight PCIe lanes, which seems to be more and more common among entry-level GPUs. This, both 4060 Ti's and the RX 7600 all have just eight PCIe 4 lanes. The obvious worry is that if you're dropping one of these into a motherboard that only supports PCIe 3, are you going to get a performance hit? This case has an old i7-5820K from 2014, which sports 28 PCIe 3 lanes. In benchmarks, it scores just under a Ryzen 1600X in single core, so I think it's feasible for someone to be dropping a low to mid-range card like a 4060 in as an easy upgrade for an older 1st gen Ryzen or 6th gen Intel i5. Maybe replacing an aging 1060 in a PC from 2017 or something. As we found out, the 4060 kind of sucks. It's slower than an old RTX 2080, which can be had on eBay for about $100 less. And it has the same 8 gigs of VRAM, down from 12 in the 3060. My guess is that the 4060 is going to be so slow that the lane count isn't going to matter. But let's find out. I'm going to use the performance data I recorded on my 13400F as a point of comparison, since I don't think I'm going to be CPU limited in either case. Hang on, why is performance slightly higher on PCI 3 than 4? I think it's because it's blooming cold at the moment. It's about 7 degrees Celsius downstairs, which is why I'm wearing a jumper, and the card is clocking itself higher as a result. Thanks Colorado. If only I could afford heating, I spend all my money on garbage GPUs. I suppose this is actually a really good result. It means that if you actually want to buy a 4060 and put it in an older PC, then you won't be leaving any performance on the table, at least on the PCIe front. Not that I actually recommend recommend that. You know I don't even necessarily hate the 4060 in a vacuum. I've actually been using it to play a load of Paleo Pines and other small indie titles. I just wish it was priced lower. This excellent comment from Jet the Lone Wanderer points out that it has much more in common with a 3050 than anything else, given that it has a 107 GPU, like 50 series cards before it going all the way back to the GTX 1050. The fact that halving the bandwidth seemingly had no effect at all on performance, at least in the games I tried, gives me an idea. What if instead of eight lanes, we go all the way down to one lane? Stick around and subscribe if you want, that video's coming up. And lastly, what do you think of the mustache? I'm probably gonna shave it. It makes me look like Jimmy Hopkins grew up to be a cop and turns his body cam off every chance he gets. I'll see you next time, probably with a full beard.